And as you remember, we were talking about how the sect of Wahhabism was created with the plans of British Empire at the end of the Ottoman Empire's life. But before starting the book written by uh, this British spy, Hanfer, I would like to make things clear. We are living in 21st century, and we have learned through history and through science that any time we want to start a journey, we want to start something new, we need rules and regulations and discipline. It can be, for example, driving. You cannot get a driver license and start driving in the streets without being a danger to the public unless you go and you learn through and exam the rules and regulations of driving. And then you pass them those rules and regulations and you show proficiency in answering those questions, then you are asked to take a driving test. That means just knowing the rules and regulations are not enough for you to be able to drive. Now you sit in a car, you have an examiner sitting on the side and asking you to drive. And you need to show also an expertise in practice of how you are handling the car, how you would park the car, how you would pass another car, how you would now put into practice the laws and regulations that you learn in theory. And the same principle exists in every single thing that we do in our life. Let's say when you go to school, in school they teach you science. But to learn science, there are some rules and regulations in the school that you need to follow. And if you don't follow those rules and regulations, first you would get some penalties, and then at the end you would be suspended. They would kick you out of school because you are not following the rules and regulations of the school. If you go to a movie theater, there are rules, there are laws, that exist inside that movie theater. You cannot go in there and start talking to your friend in loud voice. They're going to come, they're going to give you a couple of warnings, and then they would ask you to leave. So if you want to stay in that movie theater, you need to follow the rules and regulations. You need to follow the rules and regulations, which is called discipline. And if you are doing it, that means you have been disciplined. You are following the discipline. If you go to the army, same thing. They are disciplined. There are rules and regulations. So a human being, a human being cannot live in a society without following laws, rules, and regulations and the discipline of that society. And those laws, rules, and regulations are different from a country to another country, from a state to another state, from a neighborhood to another neighborhood, and depends where you are going. And rules and regulations are made to make that environment pleasant and easy to live for everybody. For example, when you have those driving tests, and then you have the code test, all those are combined to make sure that you are not a danger, a risk to others. 
And even when you have your driver license, if you don't follow, even after having your license, if you don't follow those rules and regulations, you will get penalties, you will get tickets, and if you continue that reckless behavior, your driver license would be taken away from you. And sometimes you would even end up in jail because you didn't respect the rules. And the examples, I can just go on and go on and give you all the examples of different places that you go in the society and you have to follow those rules to be able to benefit from whatever the society has to offer you. Now, if we look at human beings, we are not looking at any country or any state or any neighborhood or any specific place. If you look at humankind, all humanity living on planet Earth, do they need rules and regulations for their living? They can say yes, or some people can say no. I don't think anyone, I don't think maybe they are like, not even hundred people would say, no, we don't need any rules and regulations. So we can assume that almost hundred percent of people on planet Earth would agree that we need some kind of rules, some kind of laws, some kind of discipline to be able to live in peace on planet Earth. Now the second question is, what kind of regulations, what kind of discipline do we need? Right away, people are going to be divided in two groups. One group of people would say that the laws need to be divine because God created us and who is better than God to give us the, the regulations and the laws and the discipline to make us happy and live peacefully. The second group are people who don't believe in God. And they say, we are on this planet Earth by accident. We have not been created, so we have to make our own rules and regulations. Now imagine, imagine, between the five billion people living on planet Earth, how many ideologies and how many ways of thinking do you think we can find? Thousands and thousands, maybe millions. People have a different way of seeing things. People have a different way of achieving happiness. So they would put the laws and the regulations under the banner of what they think it's good for their population. And we have seen in the history of mankind all those ideologies that came and disappeared because they were man-made. And the amazing thing is that even today people who are responsible for a country are making exactly the same mistake that the previous generations did. It means we are human beings, those who don't even believe in God, we are not even learning from history. We are not saying, okay, that technique didn't work 200 years ago, 300 years ago, a thousand years ago, why would it work now? There is no way it would work now. But they still emphasize by saying that we are different and we're going to implement it in a different way. And they make exactly the same mistake. There is a movie called The Fall of the Roman Empire. The Fall of the Roman Empire. It's an old movie. I recommend you to watch that movie and compare 